My God, it's a perfect day. Today I'm going to share with you a story that might just be the most important story of 2020. This is the story of Sarah and Benjamin. Sarah was a beautiful young 23-year-old girl who lived in Pensacola, Florida. The story happened in about 2018, from the years 2018 to the present. Sarah meets Benjamin in 2018. She walks into this bar in Pensacola, Florida, into this bar slash dance club, and she's having a few drinks, and she sees the most beautiful man, Benjamin, this 25-year-old stud, dressed to impress. She sees him over on the dance floor and all the women are flocking to Benjamin. All of them want to get his attention. And for the next six, seven, eight months, as she keeps going to this club week in, week out, she notices Benjamin, but he doesn't seem to notice her so much. And so she's kind of frustrated. She sees and he'll exchange a few flirtatious winks or looks at her way. But other than that, she's really not able to really get all the attention she wants from Benjamin. Well, one day she's walking through a gro- she's walking through the grocery store and she bumps into an old friend and, the old f- and she starts to share the story about how she just wished she could get Benjamin's attention. Blah, 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 blah. And the friend says, hey, have you ever checked out Life Artistry Coaching? So needless to say, Sarah goes online. She's scrolling through. She finds a nice life artist coach. And in her first session with the life artist coach, he begins to figure out why she's having a hard time attracting Benjamin. And so she actually says, he he says, you have to change the way that you think about him. And she says, what do you mean? I think he's gorgeous. And he says, yeah, you think she, you think he's gorgeous, but you don't think you have a shot. And she said, well, that is kind of true. I, I really don't think I have a shot at landing him. I mean, he hadn't given me attention for six months. He's clearly not interested. And he said, if you want him to be attracted, you have to start thinking differently about him, that he does like you, that you have something to offer, and that he d- is going to be attracted to you, that he is going to give you that time and that attention and that energy. And so she begins to sh- fix this little part of her thinking. Another session comes the following week, and he comes to find out as she's talking about Benjamin, she says, you know, he's so attractive, but honestly, he might be shallow. I think he's kind of shallow. Coach says, listen, as long as you're thinking negative thoughts about Benjamin, it's going to continue to keep him. That's going to be the hurdle or the obstacle that's keeping him from being attracted to you. So she begins to fix this issue in her thinking. Another session happens and she says, you know what? I think I'm just done. I, I, if I could just have half the man that Benjamin is, then I think I would be happy. He says, no. Life artistry coach points her to fix in her thinking in all these different areas. And as she's thinking these, changing the way that she thinks and changing the way that she feels about Benjamin eventually, and her confidence level is rising. And she actually believes that Benjamin not only will give him his attention to her and will like her, but that he's going home with her that night. And sure enough, She's putting out the vibe all night long, and then she starts to act. She's like, I'm not going to sit around waiting anymore. And she goes to him and starts to act and draws, just draws him in. He's attracted to her. He's all over her. They're enjoying one another. You know, here's the moral of the story. Uh, The reason why this is the most important story you're going to hear in 2020 is because Sarah gets all the Benjamins. She attracts Benjamin, and she gets all them Benjamins. My question to you is, How do you feel about Benjamin? How do you feel about money? You see, as long as we have negative thoughts about money, that's right. The story of Sarah and Benjamin wasn't a story of people, but of money. How you feel about money is going to determine whether or not you're attracting it to your life. As long as you're treating it just like another thing, and you're treating it as just, uh, well, it's just money, or you're treating it like, I really want money, but I want to hang on to it. I want to hold on to it. I can't give it away. I don't want to share it. As long as your think your thinking is limited, as long as your thinking is capped or negative towards money, you're not going to attract money to your life. Mm-hmm.